For Nintendo 3DS, there's two different emulators to use. Citra MMJ, which I find to be the most stable and best performance currently, and is still getting updated, or Citra Official Canary Build. The Canary Build has Vulkan support, which if you're going to go that version, I suggest enabling, but they've had stability issues lately. Like GameCube and Wii, try both for games you want to play and see what runs best. Let's do Citra Canary first. Head to citra-mu.org and then the download tab and then manual download. Scroll to Canary Build and download the latest, whatever it is. Click the Android icon. Open the APK, install it, and open the app. Now we have to choose a folder for it to save data in. Click OK and now create a folder called Citra Canary on your internal storage and use that folder. Let's point it to our 3DS ROM folder and read this text if you have CIA files for your 3DS ROMs. After all that, you should see your ROM start populating. Click the settings cog top right, gamepad, and configure your controller for 3DS controls. Then head back and into graphics. Now, I would suggest Vulkan as your API here, as it'll be better in the future and even currently, even though stability isn't great right now. You can also choose to turn on a synchronous shader compilation or change their internal resolution. If games aren't running well using Canary, then you should try MMJ, which we're going to install in a second. Anyways, Head back to the main game screen and open a game. Allow audio recording if you want, some games use that. Pull up Android's navigation menu and select back to get the Citra menu to show. Configure controls, toggle controls, and uncheck all to remove all touchscreen controls on screen. In the same menu, feel free to change landscape screen layout if you want, or select the swap screens tab too. Saves are located in the Citra Canary folder we created. Now let's install Citra MMJ. Head to the Citra MMJ link in my description and use the storage access and Tutu APK version. Open the APK and install it, then open the app. Allow access to files if it asks. Click the Add Folder to Library and navigate to your 3DS ROM directory. Click the three dots top right and select Input Binding. Map the controls for 3DS. I use R3 for swap screen and L3 for fast forward. Then head back and click the settings cog. And here you can change the screen layout if you want, as well as resolution. Head to the games list and boot up a game. You can use select to bring up Citra's menu if you mapped select, or Android's back or the home icon on screen. Click Settings and then Hide Input Buttons to hide the touchscreen controls. You can also scroll down and do some on-the-fly changing of screen layout, resolution, and more. 
back out to that menu and you can create a custom layout if you want although it's not super intuitive so i just suggest using the stock options saves for this one are located in the internal storage android data com and tutu benchmark folder 